Overing, wonder what it could be. Hello? Hey, Wayne, how you doing? Yeah, good to hear from you. Oh, you got all the parts for Donna's car? All right, let me put up the uh, Northern Ohio Chevelle signal and we'll get the guys over and we'll get that thing running today. Okay, yeah, yeah, cool. Glad you got all the parts. See ya! Huh. I guess uh, all the parts came in for Donna's 65 Chevelle convertible. Let's get over there and get her going. Hey, Mark Meldrum, Meldrum Monster Garage, Mobile Tech Marky today. And we're over here at Donna's Garage. We got Wayne filling her up with some uh, cooling fluid. And we got Dale. Say hello, Dale. Hello, hello. And we got Donnie. Say hello, Donnie. Hello. And of course, Uncle Larry. Hello. Good morning. And good morning, Wayne. Good morning. So we are going to fire we, this up we, for we, the first time. We put in a fridge in it. And we'll see how it goes. No pumping? No pumping, because we put so gas in the carburetor. You have to pump it. You have to pump it. Go ahead and pump it. Pump it. Okay, now do it. Hey, there we go. Go ahead. I'll change the distributor a little bit. Okay, Donna. We got your car started, right? Yeah, and now it leaks. And now it leaks. That's the whole reason we took it apart. But uh, don't worry. We got. We think we got it figured out. We got three, four, five, six, seven, eight mechanics out here. And uh, it's real interesting on where this is leaking from. And I don't know if I can... Uncle Larry can oh put a Oh, my dad, someone's got the radiator tight. Right there is a little pinhole leak. Let's Let see if I can up. get it real close. Let me wipe that off. There it is. See the little leaky right there. So uh, we thought it was that bolt at first, but it wasn't the bolt because that's where it was pulling up. But then uh, Donnie uh, looked at it a little closer and he saw that little pinhole. So we're going to try some epoxy on there, but first we're going to get the radiator fluid back down below the engine so it doesn't keep seeping. And then we're going to try some uh, two-part epoxy on there. But uh, we'll see how it works out. So hang loose. We're still working on it. But it did start it up. It sounded pretty good. We had to watch the paint, the, watch the paint glue here, or the, the glue dry. We're gonna see how it goes. Here we go again. Contact. Yeah. There you go. It's pretty advanced. It's, it's, it's way advanced, but it's still, it's the RPM's high though. 1150. Now we're so sounding a lot better. Uh, it's warmed up. I don't know if it's completely warmed up, but the tick went away, which is good. We're idling about 950, and it's very cold out still. Garage is kind of warm though. Hit the pedal. <laughs> Does it say what the temperature is, Donna? To the okay, it's only cold to hot, but it's not quite to the mid mix. But it is working. Is your kit tack? You got a tachometer? No. No tachometer. Okay. We're gonna put the air cleaner on and see how it sounds. Clock's working. That's all Donna cares about. The clock's working. <laughs> the radio working? All right. Got the air cleaner on. Still oh, sounding no real good. Oh, stop. No leakies. Yeah. Right here.
Oh, that's an easy we one. We got the hood all lined up now. We're going to have Donna bring it home. Boy, that sounded like it latched that time. Let's see if it latched. Hey, very good. We got a good alignment on Donna got the touch on that. Yeah. Very good, guys. Good job. Ignition. All right. That sounds really good. No clickies. Very good. See you.